I want to get to some of these, uh, maybe some preconceived notions you had coming in before the year, a team yeah. you were bullish on or that you liked. Maybe you've seen something so far you don't like, the new rule enforcements. How does that open up for other teams? Because I got news for you in the betting markets, and I'm not sure how much people have been talking about it. I'm a big – I look at a ton of weather stuff. I look at umpire yep. data. I look at everything when I'm betting baseball. And now without the shift, seeing the confidence that some of these left-handed hitters have and the stolen bases going up, I think we're going to see a lot of double-digit totals, a lot more double-digit totals, and in places that we're not accustomed to seeing it. Like, usually, you see it in cores. You see it wind blowing out at Wrigley. I think we're going to start to see tens in a lot of other places. Absolutely. It, it, you're a Baltimore guy. I'm here in Boston. If you go back to the Boston-Baltimore series that started the season, in one game, Baltimore stole five bases in one game, right? Yeah. There are some teams that did not steal five bases last year. So I, I really thought that the stolen base was going to be a little bit of an equalizer for some of these teams that don't have the bigger payrolls, that don't have the super bat, but they've got the quick defensive guys and can cause havoc on the base pads. Uh, I, I kind of use the Red Sox kind of as a bellwether, kind of like your 500 watermark, right? Teams that are going to be better than the Red Sox, you would figure they've spent something, they've done something. And teams that are below the Red Sox, you're saying, okay, they don't spend like the Red Sox do or they have a better farm system operating for them. So when, go to Tampa, right? That's not a big spending team per se, but they've done everything right inside of their system. My goodness, I had a bet hit the other day. I was sweating a, I was sweating a first five, one and a half, one and a half run lead for Tampa, and Tampa was down by two, and they score seven. Why? Because <laughs> they bunt. They bunt with the bases loaded and two outs. A lot of teams that are are, are kind of like they've been historically these kind of these bulky, big, swole teams, if you will, they get beat with these little mouse traps, right? Like you bunt with two outs with the bases loaded. Like you get kicked off the Little League team for doing that, right? But here you are doing it in the major leagues because there may be a catcher deficiency. The fielding percentages may not be as strong when people are put in tight situations. So all 